Today's Toy Spot, we are having a look at the Hasbro Star Wars The Black Series Speeder Bike with Biker Scout. Looks to be an absolutely phenomenal piece. Spot picked this up from the folks over at Toots Toys. I'm going to provide the link down below if you guys want to head over there and you can pick up this beautiful piece for yourself. It is recommended for ages four and up. It does have a choking hazard, small parts, not for children under three years of age, and comes to us from the folks over at Hasbro. Uh, I think, I think there was, or may, may not be, I'm pretty sure there was a biker scout just on his own. But, I mean, obviously to get him with a speeder makes more sense to me. Uh, on the back of the package, Speeder Bike with Biker Scout chased by Rebels. Biker Scouts race their speeder bikes through the Endor Forest. The Biker Scouts weave at breakneck speed through the trees trying to outrun the Rebels so they can warn the shield generator station of the enemy's presence. Call for help. Go. That's the quote that they have. Uh, you'd be also sure to head over to StarWars.Hasbro.com, check out everything Hasbro related and Star Wars related, collectively together. With that being said, I'm going to take a break, I'm going to get this opened up, and when we come back, we're going to get a better look at the Biker Scout with his speeder bike. There's more handy way, guys. Don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. Out of box, you get yourself three pieces. You get yourself the main figure. You get yourself the speeder bike, and you get yourself a display stand. I'll show you all those in a second, but before we do that, let's have a look at the Biker Scout, which looks really neat. Now, you guys can let me know down below who your favorite uh, stormtrooper or trooper from the, the Empire is. Personally, I've always gravitated more towards the, the Biker Scouts. I just, I've always loved their look. I like the Stormtroopers, but I think I like the Biker Scouts just a little bit more. There's always been some design, something interesting about the way that they're designed that have always made me interested in them. And also, I loved, I've always loved the, uh, the speeder bikes. Uh, for your detail, it's not just a basic black and white figure. They've put some indication of, like, dirt, dirtied area in his chest plate there. And more importantly, he's got a lot of dirt on his shoes. I like that. I, I like it as versus just a basic black and white uh, suit. It looks as if it would have been something that he would have been more using out. He would have actually had a practical outfit. He does have a cannon, a little pistol, which everything on this figure when you get it out of packaging has these clear elastics. They're a pain in the you-know-where. Let's take that off. There we go. Never going to see it again. He comes with a little small pistol. Very, very small pistol that you can put into his hand. I thought his pistol actually was a little larger than that. But uh, it, it is a very, very small piece. Um, I probably will not have him holding the pistol. Especially for the fact that I'll, I'll have him always on his speeder bike. But for your convenience, you can just tuck the, the gun down in his holster there. For your articulation on the Biker Scout, he actually has a fair bit, as he would with the uh, being a Black Series figure. His head is on a ball joint. It moves quite a bit. And actually, it is a ball hinge joint. So in other words, he has the ball joint flexibility, but then he also has the movability of that hinge. So the head can move down and uh, quite a bit up. When it comes to his shoulders, his shoulders are also on that same ball hinge joint. It doesn't look like his shoulder pads are a soft rubber, but they don't get in the way at all when you want to move the shoulders. Arms, of course, can also move forward and back. He has a swivel in the bicep. He has what looks to be only a single, no, correction, a double bend in the elbow, a hinge and rotation also in the hand. A waist swivel, or I should really say for that matter, kind of an upper torso swivel. It swivels right around that area, though you really can't swivel it much more than really what, what I'm doing right now. And then as for his legs, his legs go forward and back and out via a hinge in his leg, in his thigh area. Also has a swivel in the thigh. He has a double bend at the knee and a hinge and rotation in the boot. And there you have the Biker Scout. Really a beautiful looking piece. 
I keep always seeing the smaller three and three quarter inch version of the Biker Scout, and I'm kind of glad. Oh, there, there's his gun. Kind of glad that I held off and I just ultimately got the Black Series, the six inch version of him, because I think it presents better, especially you know having this on your shelf. So there you have the Biker Scout. Moving him to the side. I would have said he should have really come with a display stand, but for all intents and purposes, you're probably going to be displaying him with the bike anyways. And that brings us to the speeder bike. Absolutely beautiful piece. I mean, the, the paint, as it being a black series, the paint is what I would come to expect. It doesn't have a brand new look to it. It looks like it's been, there's like little scratches and wears to the metal, especially near the top, the front of the bike there. Now, I mean, really, what kid watching Return of the Jedi would not have wanted one of these taking the speeder bike to school, maybe to the movies to meet his friends? Uh, there is some movability. I mean, he's got a little bottom cannon, that little turret that rotates quite easily, also, I might add. And then also in the back, he's got little ports that hide or open to expose the thrusters of the, uh, of the speeder bike. Uh, but paint really is nice. I, I love this dark brown, a little bit of a like a dark black gray for the most for the majority really of it. And he's also got, I guess that I don't know if that's a light or maybe just a fan to uh, for the exhaust. But uh, really, again, a really nice piece. It's got a ball socket right on the underside here, so you can take the supplied display stand and just snap it into place. That's not really a that's not really a term I should be using, especially for using a clear plastic, which I'm really iffy about using clear plastic, or at least having it for a display stand. There we go. Plugging that into place. I don't know the longevity of this display stand because it's such a soft, clear rubber. I don't know if you're going to start seeing stress marks after a while, but it allows at least the speeder bike to be displayed versus just having it, you know, just having it laying on a shelf as is. And being it's also on a ball joint, uh, it's not easy, but at least you can pose the bike in different positions. So you can have the speeder bike displayed the way you want. Great way to display it, though. So you can take the Biker Scout. Spot's going to try to do this all on camera. Gonna bend his knees, bend his knees. And he's got two. Bend his feet. He's got two peg ports right on the struts of the speeder bike. You want to make sure you peg that into place. What's what's funny as well is that he has two peg holes. One uh, for uh, one for I guess his the speeder bike, and then one for what could have been a display stand, though he doesn't come with a display stand. Uh, so we're just going to take take his feet. Peg them into place. Again, not the easiest when you're doing this through a camera. I'm going to peg this through like so. Maybe we'll just pause the camera for for just a second. Yes, you might actually find it the hardest part of getting him on the speeder bike is actually just getting his feet pegged into the little strut areas here. And from there, you're going to lean the figure forward, and you're going to just put him onto the handles of the bike. Spot's well, probably all thumbs in this video. Spot apologizes. I don't mean to always be all thumbs. Sometimes I try to have fingers there as well, but sometimes it works itself out. I hate to say it, sometimes all thumbs. We get his hands and get his other hand. There we go. And you got yourself the Biker Scout on his speeder bike. Now, depending on how you pose the stand, you have to kind of pose it in such a way that he's th he's not going to topple over. But luckily, see, as you can see right there, you kind of have to a, a lot for that extra weight that's going to be in the back. You can kind of have it angled that way. You take the bike and you can, you can also spin it on the side, which is also a nice touch. It would also make me consider really getting more of these. I don't know if we're ever going to get like a Endor, Luke, and Leia. But uh, that would be neat to get. First of all, it would be neat if Hasbro was to release more speeder bikes that give us ones that have like an Endor, Luke, Endor, Leia. And then you could kind of have the three of them, you know, uh, zipping through, at least on your shelf. 
I like having it angled to it. It gives it more of a dynamic pose to it. Really a fun piece. This brings me back because when I was younger, uh, I always wanted a speeder bike. And the speeder bikes that we had back then were ones that, uh, there was, I think there was a little button on the back and the whole thing would explode. I never had one. My friend had one and I kind of lived vicariously through him. Uh, getting this now in a larger scale where we're getting a six inch version of the biker scout with the speeder bike is a great way to display it on the shelf i mean again it's a good size it's a good piece it doesn't take, take up too much space the end result is a really phenomenal looking star wars display uh, i'm gonna give if i can give the rating to the biker scout and speeder bike i think collectively the two work very well together and as a set uh, I would give it an 8.5. If you guys are interested in picking this up for yourself, I'm going to provide the link down below to Toots Toys. You can head over to their website. And uh, actually, you know what? Pretty good prices over there as well. Uh, the speeder bike with Biker Scout uh, was actually a good price on him. Uh, stay tuned also, guys. The spot's going to have more videos heading your way. As always, thanks for watching, as you always do. I'll see you guys next time. <sighs>